we have added a variable to our vehicle so if you select the vehicle in the hierarchy in the inspector you can see that speed variable under the player controller script now when we press play we can actually click on that speed variable drag it and we can control the speed so we have got some good control but our camera is still locked in the same place so we want to make it we can actually follow the player as they move back and forth to do that we will create a new script underneath your asset folder in project window click on the script and create a new c sharp script we are going to name this script follow player because this will attach to our main camera and the behavior will be that the camera will follow the player because this will attach to our main camera and the behavior will be that the camera will follow the player make sure you name it correctly with capital F and the capital P with no space and then we are going to left click on follow player and drag onto the main camera now if you click on our main camera in hierarchy you can see the palo player script has been applied as a component so now we are going to open palo player script in our ide our script has opened in our ide and what we are going to do is we are going to use a public variable but in a very different way this time we can actually get a public variable and what we are going to do is we are actually going to use a class or a type in this case a game object and like i said before things like our obstacle or our vehicle are game objects in our project and we can get references directly to our different game objects like our player now we will show our script control s if we check in unity you can see now on our power player script it is added this line of code public game object player if we select our main camera in the hierarchy you can see that the palo player script has this player variable and it is looking for a reference to a game object now and so in fact we can actually left click and drag our vehicle to this box now our player variable is tied to our vehicle now what we are going to do is we can do a really interesting thing where we can get the transform so this gets us the current transform component of the game object that this script is applied to in this case our camera so we get our camera transforms and we can just get its position so we will use dot position and so this will give us the x the y and the z where our camera currently is now we are going to use that equal sign that assignment operator we are going to set our camera position now that we have a reference to our player we can actually use player the player has also a transform component so you will use transform dot position and we can actually get that position from the player's transform component and then if we use semicolon to end our statement here to end our statement we will use semicolon at the end of this line and make sure we save 
control s now our camera position will be set to the player current position so now if we check our follow player that we have saved our script or not you can see that line of code in inspector make sure that you have select the palo player and look at the inspector transform dot position then we use a cement operator player dot transform dot position now if i press play and watch in scene view watch our camera and our vehicle our camera should be set to the position of our vehicle which is close enough to what we want right now so we can what so we can watch it has it drive down the road runs into different boxes if you have any question ask in the comments thanks for watching and see you in next video